What is up you guys? Welcome to my new tutorial series where I'm going to be teaching you how to make a horror game. So the very first thing we're going to want to do is we're just going to simply want to open up the third person template for this and just make sure that you have your starter content in there and then for the name I'm just going to say horror series series because it's eerie So the very first thing we're going to want to do is go to our blueprints and our third person character. And we are going to actually create a true first person here. So now what I'm simply going to want to do is going to move this camera uh, to our head on our character. But before we do that, let's go to our event grab and kind of set up the starting process for our hunger system. So right off the bat, we're going to want to go to variables and we are going to want to make sure that we call this like hunger and make sure that the value type is not a boolean but an integer. And the reason we're doing that is because it's going to be a number and not necessarily like a fraction or a decimal. So if we compile this, we can see that our default value is and we can just simply set this to 100 because we're going to make it so that every tick that happens, the hunger is going to be going down like 25%. That's just going to be simple for you to understand and then you can simply just change it later on according to what you like and enjoy so we'll just compile that again and then what we're going to want to do is we're also going to want to come down and we're going to want to do a event tick and from here drag over and do a branch and this branch uh, if true will do a delay for about, mm, we'll just say 20 seconds, and uh, because that is happening, we are basically going to be getting the hunger here. So, like every 20 seconds, that hunger is going to be uh, taking place here. And now, what we're also going to want to do is we're going to want to bring in our hunger and get our hunger once you do that go back to your delay drag out and do set hunger which then this is going to be uh, what our hunger system actually is going back go back to the hunger uh, drag out and then do like an integer I'm always really bad at spelling some sorry guys integer which is less than so if it's going to be less than the value of like uh one for example let me if i can actually there we go <laughs> that is going to be the condition for which like if it is our hunger is going down by the one it's executing the rest of this process so now we go back and we will bring this down into a integer I-N-T-E-G-E-R <laughs> minus integer and we are simply going to be getting our hunger once again which is going to be subtracted by uh, 25 so the tick is going to be like when it runs to 20 seconds the hunger goes down 25 and then it goes down 25 and then 25 and then 25 until it completely eliminates all of the hunger that's set and will end up starving the player so now what we can do is we're actually just gonna uh, do a print string which is basically gonna be um, letting everybody know like hey this is what's going on here uh, same thing for false which is gonna be a print string for when we die and so like if the hunger's not there anymore and we're doing the end it's just gonna be like yup you dead bro bro and if we just compile this we can actually uh, see this in place so if we click play up in the left here as you can tell that is <laughs> a bug that shouldn't be happening so let's go back and fix that and see why that is happening so basically what happened is I have reversed this so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to fix that so that is if integer, integer is greater <laughs> than integer and then we'll bring that in so now if I delete this and we uh, actually set this duration down to like maybe five seconds just for show 
to click play. We should be getting a counter up here. So it's been five seconds, it dropped to 75. If we wait another five seconds, it drops to 50, another five seconds, and so on, till it gets to the end, and then our character dies. So let's bring this back to up to 20 seconds, and we will compile and save that. I do apologize, it's been a long night, and I just simply have flipped that. So make sure that you fix this. So now before we end this video, let us set up our uh, camera here to be an actual true first person. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the location here and for X we're going to just do 340 and enter uh, and then for Z I like about 50 so that way we can still see the feet and what's going on. Uh, make sure you adjust your field of view a little bit so we'll about go to 110. Uh, make sure you use pawn control rotation and then make sure that your follow camera is attached to your mesh and not the character boo. So if we compile and save and we click play, we can see our feet. And uh, as you can tell, we still have a little bit of issue with our head uh, looking at us, but that's all right. That's because I'm about to show you how you can fix that right here. So to fix this, go back to your viewport and make sure that you have your third person character self selected. And then where you see use controller rotation yaw select that now <laughs> if we go back and we click play uh, we are actually attached to our body and as you can see we're spinning around here a bit and we can see our feet and our hands and as we run we are in a true first person but yeah that is basically the first setup process that we have for uh, getting the horror game started and I will see you in the next video.